Hey you guys, welcome back. It has been a little while since I've done a video. It's been so crazy with the holidays, but we have a new accent wall. I wanna to talk to you guys today about how to actually make your resolution stick and how to turn it into a lifestyle that's actually going to be effective. I don't, I don't know if this is everyone. I mean, I think that's why they get a bad rap. You'll make your resolutions and be so excited about it and so ready for a new year and a fresh start. And then usually your motivation dwindles a little bit. First off, make sure that you go on Pinterest and create like a board of what you want 2017 to look like. Really see what mood and what theme you want to carry into 2017. Do you want to have a really organized kitchen? Do you want to start incorporating more natural products into your life? Do you want to remodel your bedroom? I mean, those are all things that I want to do. It gives you some inspiration and it just makes everything seem so much easier when you go to tackle it. Try and keep things realistic because when we have goals that are too huge and too crazy, it seems fun at first and exciting at first because you're like, wow, I want to lose 20 pounds. That's awesome. I want to lose 20 pounds. I'm going to look so good when I lose 20 pounds. It's very hard to just be like, okay, December 31st, Christmas cookies. January 1st, losing 20 pounds. Like it doesn't just happen overnight. And I don't think that we should expect ourselves to change overnight. But what you can do is just change gradually and have little goals. Give yourself realistic things that you can do to try and get to that end goal. That way when it comes, you know, April, you'll actually have a healthy lifestyle in place to get you to that goal of what you wanted to do. Instead of just making some flamboyant, gesture of this romantic idea of what you want to do and then really kind of crashing a few months later you're really setting yourself up for success by making little bite-sized pieces another way you can succeed with your resolutions is to create a reward system I mean honestly it works for two-year-olds and it works for adults too and not necessarily food because if you create reward if you create food rewards it can turn unhealthy where you'll you know go binge as a congratulations to yourself for achieving a certain goal so I had this thing a few months back where I really really wanted to work out three times a week I bought a whiteboard from Target like one of the ones like this and it was really cute and it had different color markers on it and stuff and I would draw out the month and the date July 1st July 2nd July 3rd and then as the days went by that I would work out, I'd put a big X on that day because every time I saw that whiteboard, I was super proud and I was like, dang, like I already got my two times this week and it's, our, it's only Tuesday. If it was Friday and there was no X's on my week, I was like, okay, I have to do this. And if I don't do this, then I'm gonna lose my prize for the whole month. If I did it for the whole month, then I was gonna buy myself a new pair of Nikes and it just really helped keep me motivated. It gave me something to look forward to. Another tip is to just kind of think out of the box through your resolutions. I think that a lot of us have these generalized resolutions because that's kind of just the thing to do. Maybe think of something that's kind of different or kind of odd or something that really just pertains to you. Because what I found is that when you come up with a goal or a dream or a resolution that's very you, it's actually going to stick a little bit more than being like, um, I want to, you know, drink five green juices a week because my friend does it and she looks really cute carrying her green juices around. Maybe you want to read through the books that you have in your bookcase that have been sitting there for a year. Maybe you want to devote more time to being intimate with your spouse and just getting to know them or having a date night. Maybe you want to have a resolution to um, read your kids a bedtime story, you know, five nights a week. Transition from coffee to tea, if that's something that you want to do. You guys didn't think I was just gonna leave you, did you? With just like no ideas of what to do. So I actually have some ideas, some resolution ideas of things that you can incorporate into your own life. Some of these are ones that I want to do and then some of them are just a little bit more general. I'm gonna go through them really quick. I won't be upset if you steal them from me. <laughs> Create a laundry schedule. Maybe don't let your dirty laundry hampers overflow until you decide to do laundry. Reorganize your closet, decide what your style is, and if it doesn't match, get rid of it. If you haven't worn it, get rid of it. Create 
a closet that you want to go into. Create a closet that makes you want to get dressed. A closet that makes you feel like your best you. If you love restaurants and eating new food, go try new food that you've never had. Go try cuisines that you've never had. Put $20 a week into a piggy bank and then use that for a special trip or a romantic weekend. Um, I do this and I really like it. I have an actual piggy bank from Target that's a pig and it has hearts all over it. It's very cute. And I'll put money in there, I'll put cash because it's out of sight, out of mind and it builds up. And I ended up buying us a night at a hotel in Napa and we did a little weekend trip and it was really fun. Learn a new language, let go of grudges, embrace forgiveness. That's gonna be one of the most healing things that you can do for yourself. Forgiveness doesn't mean that the other person is right, it just means that you are free. Learn to love yourself and really embrace who you are. Get to know you. It's life changing to get to know you. There's so many people in the world who are uncomfortable in their own bodies and they're uncomfortable in their own selves. So if you can just become at home in yourself, that's huge. And that's gonna make everyone around you so much more comfortable. People are gonna gravitate towards that security and that um, genuineness. Genuineness? Yeah. Reorganize your house, get rid of stuff you don't want, couches, coffee tables, bookcases, and then sell it. There's so many good websites now where you can sell your old stuff. Go sell it so you have money to buy new stuff. Read one book a month, figure out your resolutions, Figure out how you want to do them, whether you want to create a whiteboard, whether you want to do it with a friend, whether you want to create notifications in your phone to remind you to do it. Figure out what's going to really work for you and then just start small. Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you've been a little bit inspired to really make your resolutions a part of your everyday life. The biggest changes in our lives actually start as really small changes because the habits that you do every day accumulate to make your life. So. Something that might seem really small could actually make a huge difference in your life. I'm so proud of you guys. I'm so excited for you guys.